Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Are you coming to Jamaica? Are you already in Jamaica and want to go on an excursion? Or are you flying back out and you want to go back to the airport? Do you want to travel in comfort and with your security in mind? Do you want reasonable and reliable transportation? If your answer is yes to any of those questions, ensure that you check out Bali Tours. You can book Bali Tours on their website at www.balitoursjamaica.com or you can make your reservation directly with the man himself, Mr. Bali Campbell. You can call or WhatsApp him at 876 369 92 35 that's 876 369 9235 check out bali tours i guarantee that you will not be disappointed in today's journey we are starting at the top of long hill in the parish of st james we are still on our north coast excursion continue to sit back continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me before we start the news today, youths and youths, listen to this. <laughs> Jungle man, Rima, mo be a man, every yard foot a pain land the war, just a kill out with same one. Tan yard the quote house and jail, even if you get bail every day, you have to report a station. Ay, ay, wait the little bit. Tell the little youth the truth, a crime no benefit. Papa in New Zealand, Teflon, Young King, one yard, bless. <laughs> so we carried a story on Sunday, August 21. 2022. That story was about that young man on your screen. His name is Akeem Dulcio. He was popularly known as Buju. On May 30th, earlier this year, Buju would have celebrated his 26th birthday. Buju, he was at a party at a bar along the Land Island Main Road in Westmoreland on Saturday night, August 20, about 9.30, when hoodlums drove up in a white Toyota Axio. They shot and killed Bojo. Another man and a woman, they were also shot and injured. Now, we have been hearing a lot of good things about Bojo. So we decided to do some more digging. And here is what we found out. Bojo, he was not the target of these hoodlums. It is said that Bojo, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Bojo was in the bar, talking to the bartender when the hoodlums struck. The target of the hoodlums was also in the bar. He saw the hoodlums entering the bar and he managed to make good his escape without being hurt. Buju is from a place named Darling Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. There was a lot of violence taking place in the community where Buju lived. Buju, he didn't want to be a victim of the violence so he left the area and went to live with an aunt at Landailo in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Bojo, he was a good guy. Someone who was very helpful. A guy who was always trying to find some honest work to do. It is really sad that Bojo, he moved from one area to the next, trying to avoid the mayhem, and he ended up being a victim. We would like to say condolences to Bojo's mom, Lisa and the rest of the family. Bojo was Lisa's one son. May his soul rest in peace. In the next story, we are learning that three persons, including a teacher, they were arrested and charged by the Westmoreland police yesterday. Monday, August 22, 2022. Information is that the Westmoreland police, they carried out a raid about 12 midday at a house at Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland. During a search of the living room at that house, one black and chrome Smith & Wesson SW40V pistol affixed with a magazine containing 14 rounds of .40 cartridges was found. The three persons who were at the house, they were arrested. There are one, Otis Curlew. He's a 24-year-old farmer. Two, Samaya Bantan, a 21-year-old teacher they both lived at the house and three brandon ellison 
He is 25 years old and he was visiting from Bronx in New York in the United States of America. All three persons, they were charged for the offenses of illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. They will be going to the courts shortly to face their judgment. Congratulations to the intelligencers for giving the police the intelligence and congratulations to the Westmoreland police for acting on the intelligence and recovering this illegal weapon. Job well done. Now, this next incident, it took place along the Prosper Main Road in the Lucy Police area in the parish of Anova. It took place last night, Monday, August 22, 2022, about some minutes to 8 o'clock. We are learning that a bike taxi operator known as Grabber, he is in his early 30s, and another man known as Chucky. It is said that Chucky, he is in his late 20s. They were both shot at at a standpipe in the community of Prosper. They were attacked and shot at by two hoodlums. It is said that these two hoodlums are known to both men. We are learning that Grabber, he received gunshot wounds to his right foot. But luckily, Chucky was not harmed. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the area. Grabber, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are learning that when the police processed this crime scene, seven 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. So, earlier on in the video, we told you that Bujo, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, we are learning that this was also the case in this next incident. It took place at a bar at Delveland District in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place last night, Monday, August 22, 2022, about 9 o'clock. We are learning that a group of customers, they were at a bar in the area. They were in the bar watching a movie. It is said that on a nightly basis, persons from the community, they would gather at this bar to watch movies. Among the group of persons was a man named Orlando Daly. Orlando, he was popularly known as Kojo. We have not yet ascertained Kojo's age, but Kojo, he lived in the same Delveland area. We are told that as daybreak, Kojo could be seen riding his bicycle, either going to or coming from work. We are told that Kojo, him no make trouble with people. When you say work, a Kojo name you call. Another man was also amongst the group of persons in the bar. He's popularly known as Gussie and it is said that he's in his mid-twenties. Now, whilst they were there watching the movie, a motorcycle rode up with two hoodlums aboard. It is said that the Pelian, he came off the bike with a gun in his hand and opened a barrage of gunshots at the persons who were in the bar watching the movie. The persons, they ran off in various directions. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on the said motorcycle. We are told that they rode off in the direction of Retreat District. When the smoke was cleared, it was discovered that Kojo, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to the right side of his head and the right side of his chest, while Gossi, he received gunshot wounds to his right foot. From all indication, Kojo died on the spot. Gossi, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that the police were informed and when they went on the scene, they saw Kojo lying on his back in a pool of his you-know-what. Like we said, he appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, eight 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Just like that, another hard-working man is taken out by hoodlums on their senseless rampage. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you know something. Let me ask you know something. Have you touched on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, yeah man, the same thumbs up button. If you have not yet done so, remember to touch on it. If you are here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, remember, 
hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. It no cost you a dime. It no cost you a dollar. It no cost you no extra data to subscribe. Alright? Now, listen to this one. Listen carefully. That young man on your screen, his name is Nicholas Nevers. He was popularly known as Nico. He was 24 years old. Now, Nico, he lived at a place named Central Flat in the Dias area in the parish of Hanover. That guy on your screen, his name is O.J. Calvin. He's popularly known as Baggy. It is said that Baggy, he's in his mid-twenties and he also lived in the same Dias area in the parish of Hanover. Now, Baggy and Nico, they were friends. Truth be told, both of them were choppers. Now, what we must realize by now in Jamaica is that most friends turn enemies because of one, money, two, guns, or three, women. In Nico and Baggy's case, it was all about a woman. Hear this now. We are learning that Baggy and a female, they are or were involved. We are not sure if they are still involved, but it is said that they were involved. It is said that this female is or was Baggy's girlfriend. His friend Nico, he got involved with this female. And we are talking about intimately involved. We are learning that Nico, he posted some details about the relationship with him, Nico, and Baggy's girlfriend on social media. Persons in the Dias area, they would have seen the posting. Baggy was being ridiculed because of it. So, yesterday morning, Monday, August 22, 2022, about 11.30, we are told that Nicholas Nevers, also known as Nico, he was walking along the roadway at Central Flat District. We are told that he was walking beside a female. We have gotten reports that Baggy had called him by telephone, telling him to come and meet with him. But that information is not yet verified, but it is being said. So, while Nico was walking along the road with this female friend, we are told that a motorcycle rode up. O.J. Calvin, also known as Baggy, he was riding this motorcycle. It is said that he stopped beside Nico. Baggy, he got off the bike and said something to Nico. It is said that Nico responded and immediately Baggy brandished a weapon. We are not yet sure whether or not it's a knife or something else. But this weapon, it is said that Baggy, he used it and made two jokes. One joke to the left side of Nico's chest and another joke to the left side of his neck. Baggy, he then jumped back onto the bike and rode away, making good his escape towards Kingsville direction. Nico by now, he collapsed and fell along the roadway. Nico, he was taken up and rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy by some residents of the area. But it was too late. Nico, he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E when we made checks early this morning, we were told that O.J. Calvin, also known as Baggy, he was still on the run. Baggy, you are wanted by the police. And let me advise members of the public that it is a criminal offense to harbor a fugitive or to hide someone who is wanted by the police. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Me want me to
a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica 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 the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when me turn Country and town man a play blood a run Murder, don't you be a be me here them a murder 